sure to follow me on Instagram at Lindsay underscore Lou one two on Twitter at LNG Games and on Roblox at Lindsay Lou one two. Links will be down in the description below. Hello, my name is Lindsay, and today we are going to do something that I get asked about a lot. We're going to talk about game passes, so hopefully you'll be able to make a decision on what game pass to buy to decide which one is best for you but before we get started the comment shout out goes to aesthetic froggy if you like a comment shout out make sure you like subscribe and turn on that bell notification and you might become the next comment shout out and ooh, 300 diamonds so exciting okay so i'm actually pretty excited to talk about game passes with you so one way to look at the game passes is you can go into the shopping and you could go to game pass shop however the only thing bad about this is that the um sticker game pass is not in here as you can see if you want to look and buy the sticker game pass what you're going to want to do is go to the royal high home screen and then you're going to want to go to shop and then from there you can go to the sticker game pass and you can see the price as well as what it does uh the sticker game pass is only 50 robux so that is less than one usd dollar and there's not really much you can do with the sticker game pass as of the recording of this video you know if this game pass ever does more i can always make an updated video or you know of course just cover the update and show you it as of right now all you can do is like put stickers on your journal it's not much i reset it by journal anyways we got the sticker packs right here we got all of these um I, you know there's been so much tea saying that we're going to get more stickers but i have yet we have yet to got new stickers anyways Again, this is all this Game Pass does, but it is less than a dollar, so that's pretty cool. So the next Game Pass we will talk about is the Hair Game Pass. This is the most popular Game Pass currently. So here we can see this one is also only 50 Robux, and you do get a lot for this one. Uh, you get more than 120 hairs, and it's Rainbow Shades. And you can also make them glow. Although I think the glow might work on devices that are able to have high graphics. I can't really seem to get it to work on my phone personally. But you might have a different experience than me. So for this hair game pass, you go to more hairs and colors. And we have to wait for them to load. But as you can see, we have a lot of hairs here so much that they take forever to load for you and they add more hair colors every update and they do not take any out so they keep adding and they keep everything in so you can have cool looking hairs let's see if we can't find more of a rainbow one so let's go to the multicolor hair so as you can see if you put this one on it'd be pretty crazy because you'd have checkered hair and then if you want it to glow all you have to do is click on this little circle here in the bottom corner Th this one doesn't have very much of a glow really all it did was make the colors brighter so i'm gonna find one that has a really good glow something i found is that the whites and the light blues are the two colors that glow the best i bet you this one right here sapphire sky will give us a nice glow as you can see this one glows a little bit brighter than the last one as i said i found the lighter the color the better the hair glows so the whites and the light blues seem to be what glows the brightest for me so for only 50 robux you do get a lot of bang for your buck here i really do recommend this game pass if you are you know limited to what game passes you can buy the next game pass we're going to talk about is the designer pass this one's pretty cool it's a lot it's very similar to the hair game pass you get a lot of patterns for your outfits they keep adding patterns and they haven't taken any of them away the only palette the designs will be are on the 99 colors as you can see if i go to infinite they're gone and 600 they're gone so 
you do have to be on 99 for them and they have so much and it's similar to the hair game pass there's so much that they take forever to load you got all of these categories again similar to the hair game pass and any if you have a color one or a color two you can color any of them but if you have an accessory that doesn't color say a halo there is a way to color it i'll put one on and show you so to get around the whole things not coloring all you have to do is put on your accessory you want colored and then put on a new accessory that colors and then you're gonna do this and then you want to click paint all yes and then boom our halo will color as you can see we now have a red and black rose petaled halo and then from there you can go back through your outfit and of course fix your coloring so there is a lot you can do with the designer game pass it also comes with the free skirts which i will put on and show you the free skirt is this midnight mademoiselle and it is a really big skirt and it's really good for showcasing the designs we're gonna stick with the same pattern we are using currently and as you can see you can really see the designs on the skirt so yeah the skirt's really good for showcasing the designs it's pretty pretty cute i guess you can consider it a free skirt since you know you're buying the pattern game pass and they threw this one in for you for free but i don't really use this one so if you don't see yourself using this one much i won't i wouldn't buy it if you see yourself using the hair texture more than the design texture then buy the hair texture because you know that's the one you'll find the most joy out of next we have the paint brush pass which is a little bit more expensive it's 300 robux but for this one we can change our cell phone we can paint our role play name we can make a colorful unique profile and we can paint our locker so i will show you all of those let's paint our cell phone first to paint your cell phone, all you need to do is click on right here, and you'll have a bunch of different options you can paint. So as you see, we got a color 1 as well as a color 2, and it also paints the outside of your phone. As you can see, that's what the inside would look like, and then that is what the outside would look like. That's what other players would be able to see. And let's see if we can't watch it change colors. So let's change the white to black. So as you can see, it should change soon. So the outside is now pink and black instead of pink and white. And the inside is also pink and black as well. Now you can also paint your journal if you don't have the sticker game pass. But you have the color game pass. Because let's say you maybe you bought it a long time ago to paint your locker. Because originally that's what you know this game pass was for. But they keep adding things into this game pass that you can color. So that's pretty cool. So what you do when you want to color is, of course, you need to get out of your stickers. If you're in the stickers, and we go to paint colors, and we can color the journal cover. You can color the rings around the button and text, which is, we're just going to do random colors. <laughs> and then, of course, we got the badge and cover border. So let's do this color right here and that or that didn't really change it much so let's do black and then of course we're gonna take a look into our badges and as well it's just the border around the badges we're gonna close our oh i keep falling for a closed journal i keep thinking it's just gonna close the cover and then it just totally kicks me out of the whole journal and then of course we got inside badges and cover so we'll color that a dark blue and then our badges should be a dark blue as well and then our pages we can color our pages let's just make it a lime green and then we'll take a look later and then our lines um let's make our lines i don't know a dark purple and then we can do the question color let's make those a hot pink and then our answer color let's just make them black and then we'll take a look on the inside so as you can see our pages are lime green our lines are purple and then we got that which is pink and then our then our lines and answers are black so there's a lot of 
customization here. So, you know, I, although I do think, you know, it's kind of a bummer to have the coloring but not the stickers or the stickers and not the coloring because I feel like they go so well together. I kind of wish they put that in one game pass. But unfortunately, they're two separate game passes. And then, of course, if we go to dress up and we go to our role play name, I'm going to just give myself a random role play name as an example. And then we click on this coloring right here. We can change our role play name or, or our hashtag role play name. We can have it gradient. Um, here's a color. Our hashtags aren't coloring. And then we can have an outline. And then we can make that black. There we go. Everything colored. And then we have a bunch of like fonts, which really are the basic default fonts that are just in Roblox Studio. Um, and then we can make it match our outfit or our phone as well. So that will change it to be, you know, red, pink and red since that's what I'm wearing. And then this also should change our chat bubble. As you can see, it changed our chat bubble. So our words are red, but like the bubble that the words are in are pink. So use this power wisely because, you know, if you use like colors that match, nobody will be able to see what you say. So this is a power you should use lightly unless you want to drive people mad and make it hard for them. Also, the little hearts that, you know, show people you're typing is also a different color now it matches your outfit so not everything matches you know it's pretty cool i believe they keep changing this feature up as well so yeah keep a lookout for any changes because they're usually very subtle changes and the last thing i believe we can color currently is the lockers you can either do this in the classic campus or the new campus was that candle always there and i never noticed it is this candle new am i totally oblivious and never noticed that candle i feel like it's new but i might be totally oblivious okay so to color your locker of course we need to go up to one and claim it it doesn't matter which locker you go up to i'm just going to claim this one right here and then of course make sure you remember your password and then from here, all you need to do is click decorate, and then I can color my locker. Uh, I want to color and notice we change color. We're just going to do black. And then that was the, I'm assuming the inside. So in the new school that's coming out, you can decorate your locker. And I'm assuming you might need this game pass as well. Actually, I like this mermaid one. We're going to buy that one. And then we're going to, of course, go back out and decorate our door. Okay, so we are locker 19, and of course, we're now decorated up. Let's go ahead and open it up. And that is what our door currently looks like. You have to, like, you know, exit out of your books to see it. And you can take a look at it before you close the locker. And again, we will be able to decorate our locker in a more in-depth way with the new school coming out. And you might need this game pass, I'm assuming, since you need the game pass for both of the campuses so far. So this may be a more expensive game pass. As we can see, it's like 300 However, it seems like there's a lot you can do with it. So, you know, depending on what you like to do in Royal High, this may or may not be worth your robux so the next one is the faster flying um pass now this this game pass was very useful um for you know the saint patrick's day update where you had to go get the cloud because you were able to be one of the first percy people to fly up to the cloud to get a four leaf clover the fastest you can go is you know 299 and then the slowest is 44, which is pretty nice of them not to make it zero. And then, you know, you can gradually go faster. This is really useful to somebody who, I don't know, likes to just spend their time flying around um, farming. I really like this game pass. It doesn't work in every realm because not every realm has flying. So, for example, 
Sunset Island. You won't be able to use this game pass because there's no flying on Sunset Island. But as long as the realm has flying, you can use it. And yeah, there's not much of this game pass at all. You just can fly fast. This next game pass is the Crystal Ball. Be warned, this only works on the computers. The instructions specifically say not for mobile, iPad, Xbox. Do, you know, shift P to activate and exit. So it only works on computers because you need your shift P. You know, this is really good for filming videos. It's really good for filming videos. You know, you could get a nice Chris looking picture. It's good for screenshots if you know you like instead of a, I don't know, a YouTuber. You're a, an Instagram influencer in Royal High. You just take pictures and you post them on Instagram. You get really nice, clean pictures for that. If you're a Royal High, you know, editor where you take pictures and then you draw and make an edit, this is very useful for that. But if you're on Xbox, and mobile iPad all those things it says not to buy this for but you buy it anyways you know not listening to the instructions you will get a free accessory with it you get the crystal ball accessory this comes with the game pass uh, this is what it looks like I should have an animation with this like my hand should be going around the crystal ball like I'm telling the future but there we go. Oh, it was going to do that. Oh, no. There we go. It finally worked. You know, it's just, the game's kind of laggy for me today, which kind of stinks. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I don't think it's worth, you know, the amount of Robux, 300 Robux. I wouldn't spend 300 Robux just to get the, you know, the accessory. So, only get this Game Pass if you're on computer. You know, it, the Game Pass specifically says what not to buy it if you're on certain devices. Now next we have the two times and four times row of diamonds. They're the more expensive ones. The two times is 749 Robux and then the four times is 1649 Robux. You can have them both equipped at the same time and get times six which is extra Robux. So let's go ahead and find a diamond and talk about the prices. So in a principal's office, there is a red diamond and without the game passes, it is 20 diamonds. I have both of the game passes equipped. So for me, it's going to be, I think, 120 diamonds, yes. So if you just have the times two diamond game pass, that is 40 diamonds and then if you have the times four that's that's 80 diamonds so one thing i do recommend if you are low on robux and you can't decide i would get the times two game pass because it still can help you out a lot uh, i would get the times four only if you have the extra robux to spend but if you have even more extra robux i do recommend getting both of them so you can get even more diamonds because when I level up I get 1,800 diamonds for leveling up without them you only get you know 300 with the times two you'd get 600 and then if you have the times four you would get the 1200 and then having all of them I get the 1800 so it's very helpful if you could get all both of the game passes but if you can only get one I do recommend getting the double the times two so that is all of the game passes i hope this video helps you decide which game pass is right for you and which game pass you should buy i've been getting a lot of questions lately in my comment section about game passes and which ones i recommend so i do hope this video does help you decide which one is the right one for you so make sure you like subscribe and turn on that bell notification i'll see you in the next video bye